Our first edition here of the Coaches Preview, we sit down with every single coach and we break down the season ahead and we reflect on the season in the past. So today we start off with the guy that always thinks his hair is on fire, uh, D1 head coach, Coach Kutek. How are we doing, Coach? It's my pleasure to be here with you, Cam. I'm doing well. Hey. You? I'm doing well. Looks like your hair is a little bit slacking today. So Well, well I need to get a haircut next week before the big game, so... There it is. I knew that one was coming. Uh, well, let's just jump right into it. Uh, last season, positives, negatives, big positive IUP, negatives, maybe the playoffs. Talk to me. What are we thinking? Well, you kind of nailed it there. Positive was uh, beating IUP because I know they were ranked in the top 25 whenever we beat them. Uh, negative would be, you know, I've coached at all three levels in club hockey, division three, division two, and now division one. And you kind of learn what works and doesn't work. Uh, you know, things that worked at D two didn't work at D one last year. So it was getting to know the lay of the land at the D one level, uh, figuring out what works and doesn't work And the positive of all that we made it to playoffs. So positives, negatives, uh, trying to figure out what works at D1. And then finally, by the end of the second semester, we started to click and uh, made playoffs. Wasn't the way we wanted it to go, but at the end of the day, with uh, it being my first season at D1 and going through all that, we at least made playoffs. So that's a positive. So, yeah, we'll keep going with the reflection here. What's different about this team compared to last season's team? A lot of new faces are coming in. I know you got a new goalie that you're really psyched about. Talk to me here. Yeah, no, absolutely. So uh, coming into this season here, you could just, whenever you walk into the locker room, you could just feel the atmosphere was different for for the the good. Uh, last year didn't really feel that way. Um, you know, we had some personalities last year that we had to work through. But uh, coming into this year, like you said, with a whole bunch of new faces, uh, a great returning group uh, with up, with the upperclassmen, uh, you could just feel the the energy is different. The compete at practice, uh, it's it's just wonderful. Yeah, and bringing that on now, fresh faces for a season can be exciting, but also prevent challenges from moving from maybe juniors or high school level right up to the college D one club level. What excites you, and what kind of scares you about these incoming players who bring in a lot of talent? Well. <laughs> easy. So whenever we were recruiting last year for this season, I wanted to recruit guys that had good attitude, good character, uh, with great compete levels. And you kind of learn that as you talk to these recruits and you recruit them, scout them and, and, and all that. So I knew coming into this year, we had a great group, great group of guys that uh, had great heads on their shoulders, coachable kids, uh, just great attitudes and great character. Yeah. Um. What are the expectations for the squad this year? Yeah. So, like I said, kind of just to to build off these last couple questions here, uh, with having the the great attitude, great character, which leads to the the on ice with the compete at practice. Uh, it's super exciting. So I'm I'm excited to see it translate into game. Uh, to where the expectation is, as long as we're, I I, I feel like as long as we are competing the way I know we can from what I'm seeing at practice sky's the limit for us. I mean, playoffs and then uh, the expectation is to win a league championship and then we push it nationals. And you kind of touched on it. You kind of stole my thunder here. Veterans is the name of the game for a lot of teams, especially yours. And you kind of brought that up already. What is your team compared to the rest of the CHMA teams that are sitting in your conference? I mean, obviously we have the powerhouses like IUP and Kent state. I mean, where do you fall? Do you think you fall in that ranking there? Well, last year we went one and one against both of those teams. So I put us right up there with them with, you know, quoting you, you know, powerhouses. I think that we fared great against them. Uh, like I said, we beat those guys with the team we had last year. And I think with the team we have going into this season here, uh, we're just better all around steel wise attitude, uh, compete level just up from last year. Uh, so to, to answer your question about the veterans in the with the other teams in Chima here, I really don't worry about 
the other teams in terms of that, other than whenever we're prepping for them, you know, game week and doing film on them. I really don't worry about what their rosters look like uh, with returning guys. Cause the, I'm the type of person I control the controllables, control what I can control and the external factors. I really don't worry about. Uh, and, and like I said before, we have a great group of returning guys, a great group of returning veterans uh, that just, just are, are, are wonderful. And they help build this freshman class, this young freshman class, to where I think there's just the the the, the amount of confidence that we have in the locker room uh, that's going to translate out on game day. I mean, I'm seeing it at practice, so I just can't wait to see what happens on game day with all these guys. Yeah, and before we break into the big wheeling games that's been circled on our calendars, I want to take a moment to talk about Ohio. They're on your schedule. They lost a really good head coach. I don't remember where he went. Uh, maybe you do. Um, what's that like? I mean, obviously, I know that game is scheduled on your calendar for the season for this team. What's that like going up to Ohio to face them, the Bobcats? What are we feeling here? Well, I mean, kind of just to, to go off what I, I previously said about, like, these other powerhouse teams in Chima. Uh, last year, we opened up with Ohio. They're, they were our opening weekend. And I'm pretty sure we've never had any leads on them in the past. We had two different leads on them. Uh, had a, a decently young group last year as well, too. I mean, we had a good bit of freshmen in that lineup. Uh, so going into this year here, we play them second semester. Uh, I think it's just going to allow us to to keep getting better and letting these freshmen develop more. They're going to get more, uh, you know, reps and and games and different things like that and they're going to gain more confidence going into you know a top tier team like ohio yeah and let's focus to wheeling now first game the 15th i think i think i got that right correct yeah um, i think i got it um the 15th uh against Pitt. now Pitt had a really good season i mean obviously we you know off off the record we talked about how good pittsburgh was making it into the d1 playoffs making it very far into the playoffs how do you i mean obviously i know what you're gonna say because i've asked this form of question three different times now what is it like knowing that your first game is against i'll say the word powerhouse in a pittsburgh panther team that pretty much almost ran through d1 nationals yeah no absolutely uh Pitt. they have a great great coaching staff great coach and and, and that being sue uh they always have – he always has a great team. So it's I always look forward to playing them because it's always competitive. Uh, but to answer your question, I mean, I'm looking forward to, to playing them. Uh, you know, every team has turnover every year. So what team you're going to be going up against each and every year, you're kind of – you're unsure. But with these top teams like Pitt, you always know that they're going to have a, a competitive team, a, a really good team. So – I look forward to seeing how we stack up against them. And I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super uh, pumped with seeing the group of guys that I have this year compared to what we had last year. And I just know we're going to be a lot better this year, just from what I'm already seeing, just with, you know, the atmosphere, the compete at practice, uh, you know, so I, I think we'll stack up fairly well against uh, a team like, like Pitt. Yeah. And what do you tell your players? I mean, you know, obviously it's probably in their, well, maybe it's in the back of their mind that, you know, Pitt's a pretty good team. I mean, it's going to be a packed house in Wheeling. How do you calm the nerves there about playing such, you know, a strong team? Um, That's a great question. Uh, you, you know, I, I tell my guys, control what you can control. Uh, you can control, you know, the way you act on the ice, take away time and space, your compete level, uh, never give up on the play. Um, if you're controlling your game, everything else will fall into place. One shift at a time, one period at a time, control what you can control and everything else will take care of itself. Yeah, for sure. And usually you always have a motto for me for the seasons. What's your motto for this season? You got to fight for your right to party. Yeah, That's there. the motto. <laughs> Uh, and finally, before we let you go here, um, let's say I got on the ice and you were on the ice. Would you give me one chance to hip check you into the boards as hard as I can? I would say yes, just because one of our previous conversations, you stated that you've never been on skates before. <laughs> I, don't so... mean, 
how hard could it be to learn how to skate? I I've been practicing already, so yeah. I think I think I think I'll be good. I'll hip check you okay. right under the porch. We'll yeah. test it out then. We'll, we'll we'll have to do it then before the end of the season <laughs> before I go. Well, as always, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. I mean, I know you're a very busy man, a lot going on in your life, so I appreciate all and any of the time I get to spend with you because you are a really close friend of mine. Um, so thank you for your time. And do you have any parting words about your team or anything you want to say? Other than I'm no, your favorite. You are my favorite. Um, but no, just to build off of just I'm super excited with this in, incoming freshman class. Uh, we have a ton of talent. Uh, the the returning guys, I'm super excited with, with those guys coming back. Uh, I look forward to this season. I look forward to working with you on game day, Cam. Uh, it's always a pleasure. It's always great seeing you around the rink. Always a smile on your face. So, uh, whenever, whenever I'm having a, a bad, a bad day or bad, uh, you know, in between periods of intermission, you always put a smile on my face. So, thank you for that. No, it's my pleasure. I, I like to uh, see how mad you can get, and then try to see how long it could take for me to make you smile. So, it's working out pretty well for me in the past year. So, it is. See year three, our third year working. Well, yeah, our third year working together. So let's get the show on the road. Coming up on our next episode, we'll sit down with Division Two head coach Adam Brown, who had, I mean, he's just had an amazing coaching start. I know Kutek, he gave you a lot of props when I was talking to him earlier about that kind of um, chemistry that you built in that locker room for him to take over. So we'll sit down with him. We'll see what he's got to say about his team and what he expects because they open up against Ohio for their first game. So I'm Cam Nibalati, and we'll see you next time.